week 75, had a busy week again, but managed to watch several dramas, and have several good conversations with friends. This weekend is another free the kimchi meeting where we will be starting Buam Dog Revenge Club. And the kids are having birthday parties with their friends as well. It wouldn't be a normal weekend if I didn't have a million things scheduled. On the drama front, I was able to watch another three to four episodes of Prison Playbook, Wise Prison Living, and I think I only have a couple more episodes. This show is so understated and underrated. And because of this show, I became interested and was able to catch most of two. Jenny with the trauma beans on rab.it last evening. It's adorable and short and everyone should see it. I have to go back and watch all of it though. That kid can sing. MR Sunshine continues to wow me. Goodness, the production value here, amazing. The acting, amazing. The costumes, gorgeous. But I would be disappointed if this drama was anything less than exceptional. Fu Yao episodes 36 to 37. Now, we're finally getting somewhere. I'm again watching this peripherally, but shoot, Ethan Ruin is still fine and even finer now that he is acting like he's desperately in love. That fact will never escape me. Let's Eat 3 is going to be so much more emotional this season than the prior ones. With tragedy and stressful life situations surrounding our leads, I'm so looking forward to seeing how they navigate these mountains and become a couple. And the food. I'm making that kimchi dumpling soup very soon. What's wrong with Secretary Kim? My answer, abso and nothing. I've yet to see episode 14, but episode 13 was very well done, and not gratuitous in the least, and exactly what it needed to be in order to show two people on different pages of a relationship, getting to the same page by the end. And the side characters and their budding love lines, precious. Five dramas in a week, that's probably a record for me. Conversation time, kinda serious, kinda not, when young Jun is on his business trip in Sek Kim and misses her and just wants to hear her voice but can't get a hold of her. Hubby, I used to be like that. Me, I know. I finally get it now. Hubby, too bad that ship has sailed. Me, or, no it hasn't. You still are upset when I don't call you when you're away. Hubby, no, really, you're annoying when you call now, so I'd rather you didn't sometimes. Me, asterisk mental note, don't be annoying when I call asterisk moral of the story, K-dramas can shed light on your own relationship. Second moral, I don't know how I'm going to fit life into this schedule. Help, third moral, have a wonderful week, lovely people.